Okay, so first we'll start with the introduction to ASD industry quality perspective. We call them as ASD industry. It is aviation, space, and the defense industry. So uh, the agenda uh, of this session, it goes like this. First, we'll start with uh, basics introduction about uh, what is quality with respect to this AST industry. And we'll move to the uh, AS 9100 series of uh, standards. And we'll move to the uh, introduction to the NATCAP accreditation, what it is. If you have any question and queries, please uh, make a note. Maybe end of each session, uh, we will have a small 10 minutes for question and answer session. And end of this completing all this topic, we'll have some more questions. So this is what the uh, today's pattern. Okay, so first we'll start with this. What is this uh, uh, quality with respect to ASD industry? How it is different from other industry? See, the global uh, ASD industry includes uh, civil aircraft, military aircraft, even helicopters, missiles, satellites, and many products. Here, uh, the safety is very critical in this entire industry. So we, we call it as, it's not just quality, it goes beyond that. If you look at this. A recent study which was published by uh, defense industry outlook it says for next 20 years uh, the world need uh, more than 38,000 aircrafts which means we need minimum uh, 3.7 aircraft per day so that big this industry is and this is what uh, Boeing executive summary they have predicted this Asia alone expecting 17,000 aircrafts. If you look at India, India alone need minimum 2,000 aircraft for next five years. Sorry, next 20 years. That's what Airbus and Boeing are predicted. So if you look at this question, how many uh, Indian organizations or Indian manufacturers are into this aerospace? What I am, these numbers are specific only to commercial aircraft. I'm not included the military aircraft and other applications. See, this is some of the uh, Indian organizations who are already into ASD business. Most of you might have aware about these organizations. Tata, they are into structural manufacturing, composite manufacturing. Now they are coming in a big way. Of course, HAL, our own uh, Indian organizations. So a lot of peoples are across, already exist in this industry. But if you look at this, Supply chain, ASD industry supply chain. We, we call them as like multiple sector. Let's start with the designing and modeling. There are plenty of IT organizations who are already into this particular business, who provide design services to the major primes. Then uh, tire three suppliers like casting, forging industry, machining industry. A lot of organizations are into this machining sector. And people who make the uh, fasteners, bearing, standard parts, right? And cable wire harness. These people are called them as uh, tier three suppliers. And tier two is like a, a system manufacturer because a subsystem manufacturer who produces um, power systems, flight control system, hydraulic systems like that. Then tier one is uh, uh, the big system manufacturer, avionics, landing gear assemblies, engine makers. Like that. Then of course the aircraft assembly industry who does the, we call them as prime, OEM in other industry, we call them as in aerospace industry, we call them as prime, prime manufacturers. After this, there is a post-market industry, there's MRO, maintenance, repair, and overall industry. So this is what the uh, uh, sector, we could say, the industry has a different level of uh, supply chain. But why I'm putting this particular slide here is the quality. The word quality, how we can interpret across the supply chain. So that's the very important thing we need to address when we are dealing with the AIG industry with respect to quality perspective. So the quality is not always limited with product. We are well aware about that, but here the, there are two things which we need to primarily focus. That is safety and reliability. The people who ever wrote uh, quality standard for aerospace, so they are mainly focusing on these three attributes. Reliability, safety. Not only this, it goes beyond that. Availability, maintainability, producibility, inspectability, suitability, etc. Okay, uh, is my screen is visible to you? If yes, please type.